Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I put together my charcuterie platter using only items I found at Trader Joe's. I generally will include some sort of dried fruit, almonds, cured meats, a few types of different cheeses, and really any extra items I might want to snack on like these caramel bites and I also found some really nice gooseberries as well. To start, I like to prep my cheese, and this one is Trader Joe's Unexpected Cheddar. I really like this one because I think it's very mild, very family friendly, it has a great texture, and I just cube them like so, so it's easy to grab, or you can also crumble them for a different look. Next up is one of my favorites, Gruyere, and it's a very popular Swiss cheese. I think the texture can be a little dense, so I like to cut them in thin strips like this. Lastly, I have Havarti with dill. I think this is a really fun cheese with the dill adding an extra kick of flavor. And I went ahead and also cut these into cubes. So now that my cheese is prepped, I like to place them on my platter as visual and anchor points and slowly build around them. Speaking of platters, you can really use anything you have at home from a simple wooden cutting board or a large dinner plate or you can even use a cooking sheet or like a baking sheet, just depends on the look you're going for. I got this piece from a store called Goodies LA. I'll link it in the description so you guys can reference it, but I really like this piece because I think there's a lot of character and also the edge kind of comes up so it helps ensure nothing's going to roll off. After I finish placing my cheese, I like to move on to my meats next. One way to arrange salami is just to roll it from one end to the other and make sure you place it with the seams facing down so they don't unravel. If you want to add a small bowl, make sure you do so before your platter gets too full. Another way I like to arrange my meats is simply to fold them in fourths. So once in half and then another time in half. And I think it looks really nice and it's still very easy to grab. With meats like prosciutto, I like to tuck them into each other and create a small bunch. You can fold these meats back and forth like so and just fold them in half for a base and place them on your platter, kind of like an accordion shape. One thing to note about these is there's a cute white strip of fat running along one side and you can alternate it, you can place that facing down or facing up. In this case, I face them all up so you can see the white part.
When you're making your boards, keep in mind that you might have to shift things around as you go. For example, I wanted to make a little more space here, so I just re-rolled these and doubled them up for some height. If you see anything that bothers you, like for me there was a tear on the meat, so I just took the torn side and rolled it in so you can't see it. I can definitely get a little OCD with my platters, but just have fun, it definitely doesn't have to be perfect, and I know there's a lot nicer, prettier, better placed boards than mine, but I just wanted to show you guys how I do mine. If you guys haven't had these orange slices from Trader Joe's, I would highly, highly recommend picking them up. Not just for your charcuterie board because it looks really nice, but also they're really great with tea. It's good to just snack on. Granted, it's pretty sugary, but it's delicious. When it comes to olives, make sure you drain them properly or you have a small bowl like this to catch any of the liquid. Now that the bigger items are placed, this is when I like to fill the board with smaller items like almonds, dried cranberries, any fruit I have, and then of course, my caramel bites. Now you might think these caramel bites are extremely out of place, and they totally are, but making boards like this is a good opportunity for me to add on any snacks that I've been craving. If you have small round items like gooseberries or blueberries or anything that might roll off, make sure you put it towards the center or in a secure spot where it doesn't have a chance to roll off. Lastly, I like to add a floral touch or something green like sprigs of rosemary or basil. In this case, I picked up a bunch of chamomile flowers from Trader Joe's and I just trimmed them back and kind of placed them sporadically throughout the board. A few other ideas you can use would be things like mint, you can also use sprigs of cilantro, you can use eucalyptus leaves, and I know there are edible flowers out there, so if you can find those, you can definitely use those too. And that's it. That's how I put together my board. I threw this one together for a family gathering, so if you're transporting it, just make sure you saran wrap it very securely. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos of yummy foods.